Hey guys, this is David with Contact Window Cleaning. Um, if you guys are getting into window cleaning, one thing that you'll notice is anything glass you'll be able to maintain. You'll be able to clean these and also mirrors. I'll make another video on how to take care of fixtures and chandeliers, sconces, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to make a quick video on how to clean a mirror. Uh, number one thing that you want to look at is how sturdy is the mirror on there. Uh, so that you know if it's something that's very delicate, you know to charge accordingly and to work lightly around it. This one's pretty well on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it with a pole. And the way that we clean mirrors is a lightly saturate your strip washer. I always like to put a drop cloth right here over, me, over these uh, fixtures because it makes it easier to clean up. Um, whenever you get done. So what you want to start doing is start with the top, but it's very important that you keep the strip washer about a quarter inch or a half inch from the very top edge corner right there. What I do to make sure that it gets done and that I don't push water back there so it doesn't drip whenever I leave is just hit it once with the, with the edge of your strip washer and then bring this down halfway We're going to clean half a window or half the mirror at a time. And then grab your squeegee, put it on the tip of your pole, and pay close attention. I've got the, the strip or the squeegee edge at the very top of the mirror. What I'm going to do is I call it erasing. I'm going to erase the water from the top and then I'm going to pull it down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it doesn't leave a drip mark. And what I do to help me out on that is I, I'm going to cut that edge and then I'm going to rub it out, erase it, and pull it down. And I'm going to do that as many times as I, I have to. Um, this looks like four pull downs total. What I'm doing whenever I'm erasing is I'm moving a little bit to the right to create a clean edge on that one so that on, on this side of the squeegee so that there is no line. And whenever you get to the very end, Tap out your squeegee and erase it a little bit so that you can dry off that edge so that you can get a perfect, seamless, no line, uh, no lines on your finished product. So now let's focus on the lower part. This part's going to be the part where toothpaste and hairspray and things like that get on the glass. So what you want to do is get your 4 out grade buff pad and just lightly go over it and you'll, you'll be able to feel and see where the parts that you need to focus on are. So after you get it buffed out, I always recommend using the strip washer and washing it one more time. Whenever you get done washing the lower part of the window, what I would suggest doing is just do side pulls, dry that edge, Dry your squeegee and just go to the side and pay attention to how I'm angling my squeegee. I'm not keeping it flat or going back with it, otherwise it'll keep a it'll leave a drip mark at the top. What I'm doing is I'm leaning it forward ever so slightly to keep the water being pushed down, and then we close out. And then all you'll have to do to finish up is wipe the edge and the lower edge. Be sure you get all the water off of the frame. Clean your counter. Double check your work. And what I always do, you guys can use a regular touch up to go around the corner of the mirror. And I'll show you how to do that. Just simply fold over your towel, maybe a couple times. And just do one direction. Just go all the way up, and I rotate the pole to find a dry area, and I keep it slightly rotating, and then I'll bring it down the same way. And I have no bleed marks, and that leaves a perfectly clean mirror. This is David with Contact Mirror Clean. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video.